Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with some uh, Super Ape, which is one of my uh, favorite, most favorite archetypes uh, in the game. Because I uh, pretty much know everything about it, and since I know everything about it, uh, I can be very confident I'm gonna play it well. My opponent will be actually playing a machine gun, so uh, one of the rare matchups where I think uh, my opponent uh, pretty much cannot do anything uh, right off the get-go. Although he's doing a pretty good job at uh, pretty much doing something, as he's gonna take a very early lead with his machine gun, very well protected. I'm gonna leave the nice play here. I'm gonna actually play against Pablo, who has almost 700 medals, so definitely not a bad player, and he has proven himself in the starting uh, play. Obviously, it would be better for me to save the Super Ape to defend his machine gun, but I've played it first play, and he definitely uh, did a great job at uh, just uh, preventing me from having any fun. I'm gonna play Gunner here. Uh, I'm gonna play some skeletons just to prevent him from having fun once again. I'm gonna get a far tiny on his machine gun, and I, I have to still play earthquake. I was really wishing that I won't be uh, having to. Unfortunately, he gets away with another small lock, which I could have prevented by just playing EQ, but uh, I was trying to be a little bit greedy. So it's gonna be one of these matchups where. Uh, <laughs> I said that my opponent cannot do anything, and then he does something, which is pretty embarrassing to say. But at the same time, like, we live, we learn. My mortar will get two shots, which is decent, I would say. Uh, this swordsman should be pretty easily countered by my skeletons. This phantom shouldn't be having any range, so I'm gonna just... Okay. So right now I'm gonna actually delay a rolling steel to hit the archer as well. I would actually love to hit the, this archer, and there we go. I'm gonna play Gunner high to prevent him from having any spell value against my Gunner, and then my Gunner gets hit by the Archer, so my whole argument has been absolutely shattered down to the Oblivion. My opponent will be playing a very uh, high phone hat, so I'm gonna just play EQ, try to get a hit with a Super Ape, and I absolutely do, so that's gonna be uh, ideal. I'm gonna play a Gunner here, I'm gonna play a Swordsman here. Right now, yeah, I expect that he's gonna... Uh, play a uh, archers here, so I'm gonna just uh, micro my uh, way out of the situation. The Super Ape should be able to finish this machine gun, and once again, I allow a small log because of my overconfidence. Usually, these interactions work in my favor, but uh, somehow, some way, today is the uh, different day, and I have to be more careful. This time, my opponent actually uh, misses uh, the interaction. The Mortar uh, will connect onto the tower and that's a huge problem for him, as I'm gonna just play Earthquake. Super Ape even gets a hit, which is a huge problem for him. Uh, with that being said, I think the game has been wrapped up, because he basically made a one slight inaccuracy. He basically cannot make a comeback ever again, so I'm gonna just play Super Ape, I'm gonna play EQ. Since he stacked a two buildings in the same place, that's definitely not something that you can afford to do as a machine gun player. But at the same time, I don't think he had a better place, so yeah, he just throws a rolling steel and instantly disconnects, so that's gonna be a very clear sign of a resignation. Jeez, nice play. My opponent actually played very well, and I definitely appreciate it as a nice warm-up game into today's video. And the second opponent of today's video will be Rin with zero mouths, which will be Mortar first played, basically. Either way, uh, if you want to open up the game with this deck, pretty much the three best options are either Super 8 first play or, uh, uh, or Mortar first play uh, or uh, Fire Tiny at the bridge first play. All of the, these are okay and pretty much leave you with uh, no weaknesses, like no major weaknesses that are like game ending. And that's the fun uh, part about this deck, because you have so many available starting uh, hands, your opponent pretty much cannot figure out your deck from the very first two cards, because you can always run a slightly different variation. Uh, my opponent will be running default deck though, which I uh, kinda recognize from the very first two cards, because and first of all, not many people run a bomb skeleton, and if I do, the, it's rarely called like paired with the archers, so it's pretty much the combo only seen in one deck and it's default deck. It's uh, popular for no reason, honestly, just 
just it's a default deck if you don't touch anything in the game it's gonna you're gonna be like uh, sentenced into playing this deck until you change it uh, into something that makes sense so it makes sense that many people who have never played this game just are using it maybe they don't know that uh, uh, the deck uh, builder is available and they are just queue uh, into a game uh, with the uh, the most primitive deck of all time and uh, maybe that's what happens i'm gonna actually okay this mortar will lock onto the tower but i was hoping that it's gonna get three hits instead of two it's gonna get two unless my opponent stops it with a, a sure force of well just force i'm gonna play eq on this because he gave me value I uh, could have not to, but at the same time, like I've said, if you're winning, you want to keep the things uh, simple. And right now, it is exactly what I'm doing. I'm just keeping things simple, even using spells for defense. Usually, you don't want to use spells on defense because troops can counter push and spells do not. Uh, uh, and also, uh, spells do not allow you to create an advantage as easily as troops do because. Like I said, troops counter push and spells do not. So once you play a good spell, you're ahead, but like you cannot extend your advantage. Whereas with troops, your gunner can be defending and like getting value on defense. And after that, you can like tank for her, and uh, your opponent will have to spend even more mana to just get rid of her. So like it's like double edged sword. You either get nothing out of your troop, or you get infinite value and win the game instantly. So. Uh, that's why I think uh, the principle of playing troops instead of spells if you can is a very good principle that you should keep in mind if you struggle to get wins in a boom arena. So yeah, S some yap after the game, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's jump now to the game number three. And right now we're gonna face a second player with almost uh, 1000 medals. We're gonna play a super ape first play because that's what we do on this channel. He's gonna get some damage. Bond didn't have to spend a lot of mana to defend it. But on the other hand, it's not too big of a deal. It's not too big of a deal for us. We're gonna play Gunner just to uh, damage uh, his uh, just to damage his uh, flying robot as early as it's physically possible. Then we're gonna get a, a nice value on the robot pops. His bone actually will get one hit, that was a very smart uh, blitz. And his super devil is getting damage on the opposite side, but at the same time we have time and resources to just play very aggressively uh, on the right side. And uh, unfortunately our super 8 will go down and he actually gets away with exceptionally good defense. I should have played a rolling steel uh, way earlier. Uh, and that's what's gonna be probably my demise. I'm gonna play Skeletons, which, okay, unfortunately, uh, this uh, Swordsman didn't turn, and that was something I was hoping for, but like, it didn't happen, so it kinda sucks. I'm gonna play Mortar on uh, offense, so I force out some mana out of him. If he ignores this Mortar, I'm uh, more than happy, because uh, if I recall correctly, Mortar actually with a Far Tiny uh, deals enough damage uh, to. Uh, Destroy tower. He plays a blitz to minimize the damage, which uh, which kind of makes sense, but the, like at the same time, it's kind of a lame move. I'm gonna play actually some cards to cycle back to my mortar and uh, kite uh, his balloon. Always very useful move. Okay, now he plays a uh, uh, flying bomb to uh, get my uh, gunner, which was very smart play uh, on his part, I would say. I'm gonna play Super Ape right now, just to get some damage. Yeah, he's gonna play a Skelp Cut, so I'm gonna just instantly spell it out. Get some hits, there's one hit, there's two hits, and yeah, I'll have to be uh, very aggressive right now, just to stay in the game. I'm gonna just play uh, some aggressive moves. He's gonna block the Mortal, which is a very good play on his part. And I think right now <laughs> I'm in a ki some kind of trouble. I have to play Rolling Steel on this, so I get uh, rid of the Bomber. I'm gonna play a, uh, a Gunner here, and he's gonna actually play a, a second uh, Flying Robot, which uh, is more scary... Uh, uh, I mean, it sounds more scary than it actually is, but then I have a lot of trouble of defending this push. Yeah, I was not able to create 
enough counterplay and this is gonna be unfortunately a loss. He actually leaves me nice play, he finally wins a game against me. Uh, I've won some games against him in my previous videos, finally he gets on the board with a win. Uh, I would say he had a slight matchup, but at the same time I don't want to like absolutely uh, give it uh, entirely to the matchup because I didn't also play the uh, perfectly. Uh, I should have played more super apes with a swordsman which kind of forces more committed response out of him. I was just uh, trying to... Oh, uh, yeah, well, whatever. Th there are some things I know I can improve and um, hopefully we can get him once again and then I can show how this matchup is properly played. Let's jump to the game number four. And we, instead we're gonna actually face a Morpheus, so obviously throw a nice play for a good measures. No point will be playing a, uh, apes, I mean uh, fawns and the mortar, which I'm gonna promptly block by the skeletons. Uh, very nice play to do if you can. And my opponent, I actually don't... Maybe he's still playing, yeah, he's playing still a bigger deck. I'm gonna block an ice tiny with fire tiny. Nothing bad about this move, I'm gonna actually go for my own mortar because why well, not honestly and right now we're gonna just uh, start some trading. I'm gonna play gunner against the steel hammer, uh, yeah I expect that the poison and here it comes. Uh, I would love to eliminate this archer as well uh, and we there we go. I really thought that my mortar will get one more hit but it didn't, well uh, that's unfortunate. I'm I played rolling steel, I thought I'm gonna be playing super ape, probably I wasn't like paying full attention on which card I had uh, chosen and that's definitely not a thing that you want to do. I'm gonna play for tiny predicting his phones and I do, perfectly done. I'm gonna play mortar on my own just to pressure even more, I'm gonna actually get the steel hammer on the board which is fine, I'm gonna play gunner very early uh, to just try to chip it down as soon as it's physically possible. I'm gonna get these archers down to 1 HP but not eliminate them because that's how rolling still works. Right now I'll have to be very aggressive because yeah he's gonna be playing phones and uh, I'm gonna just get away with a hilariously uh, stupid offense and my opponent <coughs> throws the late mortar instantly uh, disconnects and yeah that's gonna be GG's nice play. I'm gonna say just let's jump to the game number 5 and final game of today's video. And right now we're gonna get a game against Brigamiga, which is very similar to a ban ward, but I'm pretty sure that it's absolutely uh, fine and allowed. I'm gonna actually face a Viking, which uh, obviously gets a very good first trade against uh, the Super Ape, uh, but then we're gonna have to actually play the video game and uh, by playing the video game I usually find myself very fine against Viking Bird Spam and that's because I have like pretty many responses. So right here he had to spend a lot of mana just to try to break the position and I still defend it very easily. I'm gonna play another Super Ape. Okay, he's gonna actually play a Bomb Tower which is very odd choice. I kinda expected him to run a... Uh, how do I call it? Viking Bird Spam and... Uh, He's gonna be playing Bomb Tower, which is very interesting choice for this kind of archetype. I'm gonna actually play Mortar uh, offensively, try to pose some uh, problems for him. He's gonna be playing Viking in the back, so he pretty much renders this Mortar useless, thinks I'm just overextending, and he may be right, but he may be wrong, and I'm just here to uh, prove that. I'm gonna actually give up on this Mortar because I don't think it's uh, worth defending it. He's gonna get some spells on... Uh, yeah on everything that I own, so I'm gonna just play skeletons just to kite uh, a little bit more, I'm gonna get another kite with my super ape, he's gonna get a fifth and right now pretty much the position gets very spicy, uh, I'm gonna play uh, this fire tiny here to kill the viking and I'm gonna finish the defense with a very well played swordsman and that's gonna be pretty much uh, the way I get away with playing a mortar at the bridge and my opponent trying to bust me, I had to be very careful and I I didn't get, go for another greed, I was like, I got my damage from the mortar and uh, I cannot be pretty much more greedy. I'm gonna now go for a mortar against these twins because not only I'm counter attacking like, uh, like you see, 
I'm also getting a damage, which is very cute to see. I'm gonna actually try to activate the Viking with this ghost, but yeah, Fire Time just deals too much damage. I'm gonna play actually a Super Ape here. Unfortunately, Viking uh, Viking doesn't target the Swordsman. It targets my uh, thingy. Uh, uh, it targets the Super Ape, and that's why it's gonna be a bit unfortunate. I'm gonna play Swordsman just to uh, keep my troops alive. He still goes for a Blitz, which I don't think is a good play in this position. I'm gonna play Super Ape very quickly. Uh, hopefully he does not have... Okay, he has a mana for a Viking, but still I'm gonna get a hit. And right now, if I hold this uh, push, I'm gonna be in a very good shape. So I'm gonna just play more more on defense. Uh, no party tricks allowed. I'm gonna play some swordsman. Uh, I'm gonna play some skeletons to defend his viking. He plays some spells uh, to try to break me, which is absolutely not allowed. Now that viking locked onto the swordsman, I'm gonna play uh, super ape offensively, uh, hoping for a hit. I'm not gonna get a hit. Doesn't really matter. Also, a far tiny getting a hit, which pretty me much means I can just play earthquake on his viking. I mean on his tower. I'm gonna get a job done, so my opponent definitely not happy how this game concluded, hoping probably for uh, for me to finish his tower with a super ape and not earthquake, but it is what it is, I wanted to just uh, quit this game early, so yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, first of all, till the end, and if you did, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, because I post Boom Arena content every single day, and you definitely... Uh, we'll get some value out of it, maybe you'll learn some interaction, maybe you'll learn some strategy, maybe get some deck, or maybe just enjoy the time with me, listening to me yapping uh, while winning in the video games, except this uh, Robloon matchup uh, about which we don't talk about because it was definitely my blunder of losing it. So yeah, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe if you aren't already, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.